Stay tuned for tips and techniques from the nation's top chefs in the Chef's Kitchen. We're back. And now I'm joined by Chef Chris Gordon of Federal Jack's Restaurant here in Kennebunkport, Maine. Wonderful to have you here, sir. Thank you very much for having me. Very good. Celebrating Arts in the Inns here in Kennebunkport, which is a very exciting consortium of visual art and culinary art. So you're going to showcase a beautiful dish for us today. Today we're going to make a paella with some saffron rice. Wonderful. All using Maine seafood, correct? And Maine seafood, correct. We're going to start off a little bit of olive oil mm -hmm. in our pan. And it's not only Federal Jacks, there's several restaurants uh, Correct. That, that you've been at and that, that are part of your group. Correct. Shipyard Brewery. Shipyard uh, Brewery is the brewery, is, is the brewery in Portland, which mm -hmm. does all our bottled product. Then we also have KBC Brewing Company, which is downstairs at Shipyard, at Federal Jacks. Mm -hmm. um, and all the beer at Federal Jacks is brewed there and brought upstairs uh, directly from the coolers from the vats downstairs. So it's quite an interesting concept. Over it in, is. And you have over several great ales available to you as... Right. as uh, as yeah. you're dining there. And we do have signature beers at some locations that we don't have at others. We have a brown ale in Kenny Bunk that we don't have at other locations. Um, we have a blueberry uh, ale, which yeah, we sell at Sea Dog. that sounds interesting, a blueberry ale. And it's very good. And Sea Dog is your newest Correct. place, right? Correct. We have a place in South Portland. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the old Expectations it's building. hot enough? Yeah, we got a little, it's going to start to shimmer as you see oil shimmering. Good. And we're going to add our onions and our garlic to a hot pan. Then I'm going to add a little bit of green peppers. I'm going to add some of my raw seafood. Good. I'm going to cook this, and then what I'll do is I'll add my mollusks, so my mussels and my steamers, and then we'll steam them open with a little bit of clam juice and white wine. Good. So they go at the end, and you wait for them to open up, right? Correct. Shipyard also makes a line of sodas. Oh, that's interesting. Which is Eli's soda and it stemmed off uh, the root beer product. That so the name of it is Eli's Soda. Correct. Are they different flavored sodas? Yeah, we have a lemon lime, a ginger beer, um, a strawberry, uh, an orange soda, uh, Eli's root beer, a sea dog root beer, and then we have a blueberry pop. And I want to make, make a blueberry pie float. At this point I want to add my mollusks. I always like to make sure and check them to make sure that they're not dead. So you just give them a good little toss, mm -hmm. and then they'll close. If they don't close, obviously you don't want to use them. That's a great tip. You want so to toss you, them aside. If you toss them, uh, toss them about, and if they don't close. I tell all my cooks, just get them angry. Just get, get them, right. Get the muscles angry. Instigate them a yeah. bit, right? Yeah. Then we add some of our steamers. Have you been in Maine for uh, for a long time? I was born in Maine. You were born and raised in Maine. I was. And you're, I'm a native. You're a real Mainer. That I am. We've been enjoying our stay in Maine here, especially along the water here in Kennebunkport. This festival is just a wonderful, uh, wonderful mm -hmm. place to be. It's so while this people. is steaming, we're going to do... Oh, so now we're putting it together, our float. We're going to put our float together. Oh, how exciting. Okay, right here. This cinnamon ice cream you were telling me earlier, this was made especially for you, right? This by is, one of your friends. This is made by a friend of mine, uh, Jeff Shane of mm -hmm. uh, Shane's of Maine. Homemade so, cinnamon ice cream. Homemade cinnamon ice cream. Blueberry soda. Watch out, it's going to foam up a Look little bit. Look at that. So we're going to put a dollop of cream on it. Mmm. And garnish with some beautiful blueberries. Some fresh blueberries. I can have dessert before dinner, huh? There you go. Does it taste like a blueberry pie? Mmm. I want to keep having more. Are you kidding? <laughs> Enjoy This it. is marvelous. Well, now we're going to finish our pie, yeah? Okay. Ah, so our shellfish this has opened for us beautifully. And what I'm going to do is, so in order to keep the color, we're going to add our peas at the very end. And we're going to add some butter, some whole butter. Nice. As you can tell by my diet. Ah, uh, look. And that's going to... Joie de vie here in Kennebunkport. <laughs> Enjoy life, right? And then we're going to add our tomatoes. And then hopefully we're not going to make a mess. Ah, if we do, it'll be more for us to eat up. We're going to add it to our rice. Okay, right very good. So here we go. And our beautiful saffron rice. So we'll add uh, some of our clams. And, uh, and then we're going to garnish up just a little bit of parsley and some lemons. Beautiful. And there's your seafood and pie. And this is ready to eat? And there's your dessert. And it's ready. Lovely. Let us put it here. I can't wait to taste. Although I've already had a little bit of my dessert. 
Which and I as do. you can see by the float, like I said, we try to we try to be family orientated. Yes. You know, I have two little kids, and I want to make sure they get to be able to go out with me. Do you test any of your uh, float recipes on them? Always. Say, hey, kids, try this one. You said you were making a strawberry raspberry one earlier. I've done a strawberry raspberry one, but that's not great. on the menu currently. But yes, okay. and that's uh, I use a strawberry ice cream that mm, Jeff makes. Marvelous. In the toast to you. Bon appetit. Mmm. A delicious mouthful of Maine seafood. What Perfect. could be better? Mm. On the shores of Candy Boat? Would you like to try? I'd love to. Your creation, please. And I'm going to finish off with my beautiful custom made blueberry pie float. Mmm. <laughs> I could have this once a night at least. It's been wonderful having you here, Chris, on the Thank Chef's you. Kitchen. Arts in the Inns at Kennebunkport, just a wonderful place to visit and maybe stay for a lifetime. <laughs> Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. To see today's recipe and all of the recipes featured on the Chef's Kitchen, log on to chefskitchen.tv.